Coming up next on the Jeff Crilly Show, you're going to meet the founder of the Athena Circle. She's created a non-judgmental space for professional women around the globe. Her story just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, in the last couple of decades, I've been around a lot of very successful women networking groups, and the secret is to lift as you climb. Somebody who knows a lot about that is my next guest, Dagmar Fleming. She's the founder of the Athena Circle. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me, Jeff. Yes. Well, I'm fascinated by this group. Uh, you started it two years ago? Right in the middle of the pandemic. Probably not the best time to launch a brand new business, but we really recognize the need for a community that would help us get through the life's challenges while pursuing our bigger passions, bigger purpose, and yet feel that we are supported without judgment. Yeah, and I love the name. Remind people who Athena was. Well, she's a Greek goddess of wisdom and authenticity. So uh, she represents this feminine warrior energy that helps us really tap into who we are and yet not be frighteningly and battle oriented because we have a lot of that in our society these days. Sure. We're going to pull up your website. It's a beautifully done website. And as we scroll down the website, I want to remind people that you started this two years ago and you have now more than 400 members around the planet. That's incredible. Uh, we've been able to tap into that innate desire in women to serve others and feel fulfilled through that journey because we believe that we all have a unique uh, contribution to the world and we just have to sometimes find that exact uniqueness and authenticity within us so we can share it with the rest of the world. And you were telling me before the show began that uh, some of your members are so dedicated that they're getting up in the middle of the night to attend a meeting. Well, this is a true sisterhood. And I always say Athena Circle is your soul tribe. So we've had ladies taking the calls, uh, the membership workshops and other meetings from airports. One lady was vacationing in Morocco. Another one was um, going for business to Dubai and taking a call in the middle of the night from the bathroom in the hotel. Um, so the dedication is strong to keep the community together. Absolutely. We found a great testimonial video. Let's go ahead and roll that now. Well, the Athena Circle is a high vibrational community of women who come together to encourage and support each other and allow them to then go out and serve the world around them in a better, bigger and a better way. It is a collection of women who come together with um, the common aim of elevating humanity through our unique spiritual gifts, uh, whether it's through our businesses, through our creativity, uh, through how we show up as people, and uh, we also are there for each other to help uh, each other with that mission. Everyone is really loving and welcoming and allows, allows each other to speak, which is nice. I also love the way that Dagmar is a leader of the group, but she really lets everyone shine and she lets everyone contribute and participate. It feels like a very safe place to just develop our strengths and our talents and to come together as women um, to develop personally, to develop spiritually and to develop uh, professionally as well. Before I joined the Athena Circle, I felt like my heart was heavy and I was feeling disconnected. And so I was kind of seeking a connection. 
to get back to feeling more positive. And the Athena Circle showed up in my universe. And when I joined, I found like-minded women whom I could relate to and who I connected with and who made a remarkable difference just by showing me this is what expansion feels like. This is what expansion looks like. Um, they had been through a journey. They had the fear, they had the backpedaling and I didn't feel so disconnected. I felt very connected to the women of the Athena Circle. And I have a spiritual destiny that I'm here to fulfill. And working with the Athenas, I'm able to work with other people who are also on a similar path and who desire to be all that they were created to be using all, all the spiritual forces they can. It's almost like a mastermind in a way because you learn from these other professionals what they do and how they do their business and also personally as well. So it's a great group of people. It's a wonderful group to be and I recommend this group to every single woman or soul that takes healing seriously, that takes uh, personal development seriously, that want to bloom into something much bigger than what they are. You should come join the fun. It's so much joy. So come on. We're welcoming you right now. Come into the tribe, come into the sisterhood. Come join us. Wow, what a great video. Uh, Dagmar, which one of your favorite memories since you started this? There has been so many um, because we are such a close community that it's almost hard to pinpoint one. But the one that warms my heart is when we launched the Athena Circle. We, as women, the founders, went together to Hot Springs and we decided to do the initiation ceremony to really anchor this intent for this community. So we grabbed the real sword, which I purchased in Spain back in 1998. And uh, we plunged it into the ground with this intent to really create community for women leadership and women empowerment. Uh, and as you saw on the website, our logo features that sword. So it is a reminder to be always truthful to who we are and have that warrior spirit as we go after our own dreams and, and the impact that we want to leave behind. Yes, and I know your members are largely professional women, but uh, your, the topics that you talk about don't have to be professional. It could be a health scare, it could be uh, a divorce. Uh, we believe in a very holistic approach to life. Uh, when you think about it, our life is composed on all these different dimensions. There is a physical body, and that came to the forefront during the pandemic. So those of our members who are wellness coaches can guide us and steer, steer us to being very healthy and vibrant. Uh, but then there's a the mental aspect, how we approach challenges in lives, uh, what thought pattern, limiting beliefs that we have that keep us stuck below our potential. And then there is mind and body spirit connection so the spiritual essence is about, can you bring your intuition forward? Can you tap into your inner wisdom as you make your business decisions or major life choices? And in that way, you're integrating all aspects of your being to be as successful in your life as you can be. And I think it's really cool that you have this safe space where there may be discussions where the person couldn't even tell their soulmate these things or their boss, but they're able to share it here and get validation. Because one of the values of the Athena Circle and the goddess Athena that we are uh, named after is true authenticity. 
And if we cannot be tolerant to other people's views, to how they show up, then how could we show up often authentically and be the example of what life looks like when we embrace who we are, as we are, and what we are? Absolutely. And you've got a big event coming up. We're going to put a graphic up on the screen. I want you to talk about this event. We are super excited. It's coming up uh, on the autumnal equinox, September 22nd. Uh, and it's all about embracing different aspects that we women try to manage. There is the nurturer, there is adventurer, the part of us that wants to have fun and enjoy everything that we do. There's the thinker, the one that, uh, and visionary, uh, the part of us that wants to craft much bigger concepts of what's possible for our lives. Uh, and then there is a technician, the one that does the grocery shopping and, and laundry. And sometimes these aspects compete for our attention as well as uh, pull us in different directions. So this event is about harmonizing those dimensions of our being so that we can now leverage the power of who we are and let's get things done and let's get those dreams created. Okay, we're almost out of time, so I want you to talk to the woman who is watching this video for the first time saying, I think I just found my tribe. What do you want to say to that, that person? It's never too late to get started on your journey to your unique path and unique purpose. So if you're looking for a safe heaven where you can explore who you are and pursue those deeper uh, dreams and, and passions, then we are your tribe. Join us. Outstanding. And we're going to leave with the website, which is theathenacircle.com. The great Dagmar Fleming. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much, Jeff. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.